Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to 20 over 20. This is the regular 20 sales over 20 pound video that I make every two months. I make it, we can never decide whether bi-monthly means every two months or twice a month, but I make it every two months. And when I say bi-monthly, that's what I mean. Bi-annually means twice a year. So maybe bi-monthly means twice a month. Anyway, I make these every two months. So this is the February and March edition of 20 over 20. Let's have a look at 20 sales that I've made on eBay in February and March that were over 20 pounds. I make these videos because I'm not a high pricing seller. What's the word I want? I'm not a high achiever. I'm not an achiever of any kind. I don't sell items that cost hundreds of pounds. I'd, I'd be blown away if I make a sale that's over 50 pounds, I'm happy. My average selling point, average price point is between 12 and 16 pounds at the moment. Uh, so anything I sell over 20 is a really nice sale for me. And so I make these videos to show you guys what you can achieve by spending not very much money because I'm very, very tight about what I buy and what you can sell for. Let me get a drink on the go. I feel my mouth gams up. So on screen, I've got 20 tabs open, 20 sales over 20 pounds. Let's get into it. First up then, you may remember if you're a regular watcher of my hauls, my Sunday morning car boot hauls, a few weeks ago I bought a job lot of Wentworth jigsaw puzzles. I had to get a loan from Josh. Josh was there and I didn't have enough cash with me and Josh had to lend me some cash to, to pay for them. I paid him about the same day, but he had to lend me some cash to pay for them at the time. And I had about 16 puzzles, I think, and it was about 90 quid, something like that. This is one of them. They have nearly all sold and most of them went for around the 17 to 20 pound mark. But this one went for 24.99, and it is the Wentworth Wooden Jigsaw Holidays by Harry Watson Oil Painting. 24.99. Now I had best offer enabled on this, but the buyer just bought it outright and paid the full price. 24.99 plus postage. So I think I can't remember the exact price for each of the jigsaws, but I think it probably worked out at about three quid each. This one has gone for 24.99 plus 3.95 postage, and they're nearly all gone. They're nearly all gone now. Next up is this Murder She Wrote box set. I paid three pounds for this, also at the car boot sale. It was sealed. It was seasons one, two, three, four, and five. Now I don't know how many seasons they made. I personally am of the belief that if you checked into a hotel and Jessica Fletcher was there checking in next to you, check out again and go home because you know, somebody's gonna die. But apparently Jessica Fletcher, you know, Murder She Wrote, very popular. This was three pound and it sold really, really quickly actually. It wasn't listed very long and it sold really quickly for 24.99 plus post. A Filofax Personal Compact Zip Safiano. I know I bought it at the car boot sale. I don't remember how much I paid. I really don't remember how much I paid for this one. I wouldn't have paid very much. It had some scuffing to the corners, which I did show in the pictures, one of the pictures somewhere. Here we are. There we go. So I mentioned those in the description and I did show them in the pictures. These ones sell very well because they're the ones, these specific Filofax are the ones that people use for cash budgeting when people carry cash envelopes and have um, have them in there so they sell very well for that the zip around Saf Safianos are definitely worth picking up and yeah I paid I don't know a few quid a few quid is the best I can give you on this I wouldn't have paid very much it was car boot sale. I wouldn't have paid much and it went for 27.99 plus post Another one I can't remember, I think this came from a charity shop. It's the Nigella Lawson Living Kitchen Duck Egg Blue Ceramic Storage Jar. I think it came from a charity shop, but it might not have done. I, it wasn't in stock very long either, so my short-term memory is definitely letting me down at this point. But again, I will not have paid more than three or four quid for it, and it sold for 28 99 plus post. The Nigella Lawson Living Kitchen stuff has been discontinued for a long time now, but it's still very popular. It's worth picking up. There's another piece coming up in this video. This has been in stock for so long. I have had, I bought this in Yate. I bought an entire tea set, I think, when I was in Yate with Josh, so long ago. Like four or five years, maybe, that long ago, a real long time ago. And it just sat, as I eventually sold, uh, I took a best offer of 30 pound plus post for the teapot, sugar jug, sugar jug and milk bowl, apparently. <sighs> teapot, sugar bowl, milk jug. <laughs> I took a best offer on that and I was pleased to see it go because it has been around a long time and I was even more pleased when it got there safely when it didn't get smashed into smithereens on the way. A little handy tip for you if you're ever selling a teapot you wrap the lid in um, especially one with a bobble on the top like this you wrap the lid in your bubble wrap first and then you turn the lid inside the pot so that the little bobble is safely protected inside the teapot just gives that fight and chance to get there in one piece. There you go. Handy hack. I hate that word hack. 
Here's the other Nigella piece. This is again the Living Kitchen range, but this was in the uh, in the cream. These are salt and pepper piglets. They're, they're you put your your ground salt and one your pepper, and they're only about yay high. They're really not very big at all. They're so big, um, and again they sold very quickly. I got these. Where did I get these? I got these off Steve's store on the car boot. They were on Steve's store and they will have been in with a pile of other stuff and they will have cost me a couple of pounds at best. A couple of pounds at the most. £24.99. I accepted an offer of £20 on those. They went out for 20 No, 22 They went out for £22 plus postage. This is a bag that I bought for myself. Used it for a few weeks. Decided I couldn't really get on with it after all. It is a Row Allen leather bag. Row Allen is quite a, quite a nice brand to look out for. But they are... I would say they're bags for ladies of a certain age. They're not you're not your young person's trendy handbag, but they're really, really good quality. I think it's Scottish leather, if I remember rightly. Uh, handmade, fine leather handbag. Used it myself for a couple of weeks, decided it wasn't quite the right shape for me, didn't make me happy. And so sold it and again listed it and it sold quite quickly, $29.99 plus postage. I bought it in the charity shop and I think I paid $4.99. I may have paid $7.99. I'm not 100% sure. Because I bought it for myself, I didn't pay so much attention to how much I paid for it for the memory banks because I didn't intend to sell it on. But I would definitely not have paid more than about eight quid because I just I just wouldn't. I'm tight. I'm just tight. Here's another file of facts. This is the Dominate A4. Now, this is a large desk, like I said, A4 size, desk size file of facts. And these are less popular because they're not the ones that you cart around with you. But I got this in filler bags, so it would cost me pennies. Nothing in filler bag ever cost more than about 20p. Um, for those of you who are watching one of these for the first time, one of our car boot guys does filler bag, and you can literally get a bag for life and fit as much stuff as you can in it for £3 um, from a certain area of his store. And so this was in filler bag. It would have cost me about 20p, and I accepted an offer on this one of £20 plus postage. This was a lovely sale. These sat for a long time. When I bought these, I bought two. They are the tiles. They're wall tiles with wire on the back for hanging them. And they are Dutch, as you can see. They're Royal Delft porcelain. When I bought these, I knew they were I knew they were a bit nice. I was like, I like those. I'm going to get those. But they've been listed a very long time, partly because I went high on my pricing. I decided to go high and hold out and see if I could get it. So this one was originally listed, I think, at $79.99, and I lowered it to $59.99. Once I lowered it, it sold quite quickly. So I found my price on it eventually. Um, the start time on there, uh, you can see from the start date that it was listed over a year. This was listed January the 1st, 2023. And uh, it sat there for over a year before I sold it. But... I paid, I think, for the two tiles, and maybe three or four pounds for the two, and I've still got the other one to sell. So fifty nine ninety nine on this plus post is a nice sale. A vintage spong. I love saying spong. It's just such a great word. Spong. I had at one point several of these in stock, and they used to sell very, very well. But the several that I had just sort of sat around for a bit. It didn't sell quite as well. This one finally went, this is quite a nice colour, this kind of like very 70s blue shade is is quite nice retro kind of thing. And of course it had his instructions and all the rest of it in it. Sometimes these things sell to film sets. Sometimes they'll sell to TV production companies or whatever who are gonna who want something for you know for props. I don't know I don't know whether the person who bought this wanted it for a prop or whether they just happen to like retro stuff, but it sold eventually. I won't have paid this one was a pound, I think. Do I think this was a pound? I remember buying it. I think it was a quid. Yeah, and it's gone for twenty two ninety nine plus post. Car boot sale. Winnie the Pooh and Friends, Eeyore and Piglet, We Can Share Secrets. This was a nightmare. We couldn't find it. Could not find this in the loft after us. I had to search and search and search for it. Found it in the end. Um, it's been in stock a long time. Despite the fact that the start time on there says March the 18th, 2024, I think I relisted this one. I think I ended and sold similar to try and get it shifted. And it's been in stock a long time, but it finally went 29 99 plus postage. And I think I paid two or three quid for it. Like I said, I've had it a long time. This one was out of my comfort zone for me. I don't do football shirts. I don't know anything about them. And I don't know how to tell if they're real or not. But it came in the sacks. Back in the days when I used to buy the big sacks of bulk clothing, it came in the sacks. And I was like, oh, football shirt, I'll give that a go. And I think... So very, very long ago that I first listed it, but I think I put a picture of it on maybe on the UK resellers group and somebody said, oh, that's that's from so-and-so year or whatever. I can't remember. Anyway, I did the research, found out when it was from, listed it, sat on it for a long time. Long, long, long time not selling. And then this this chap bought it. And after he bought it, he sent me 
a whole string of messages and I thought oh here we go here we go because as a general rule if you get a whole string of messages from a buyer it's not a good sign could I send photos of this part could I send photos of that part could I measure this could I send that and I kind of sent a message back saying, would you like to cancel this order? Because you seem to be unsure about your purchase. And he was like, no, no, if, if you send the photos, sent the photos. And even then, after I posted the item, he was like, oh, that's fine, send it. After I posted it, I was literally waiting for the return request. I was like, it's going to go back. It's gonna... But no, he sent me a message saying everything's wonderful, thank you. And he's left good feedback and he's very happy with it. I don't think that's going to make me rush out and buy a lot more football shirts because I don't know what I'm doing. But this one will cost me less than 50p and eventually got me 59.99. It's not an area I want to learn about, to be honest. It's not my field of joy. <laughs> These I bought for myself. These were Sketches Microburst um, Ballerina Flats. I bought them for myself. And they. I tend to buy... If I buy a pair of shoes and I really like them, I find them very comfortable, I tend to buy another pair for when that, when I wear that first pair out because sketches, the ones that I like, tend to disappear. So these sat up on top of the wardrobe waiting for me to need them. And when I did need them, I'd lost weight and my feet had shrunk. And they were too big. They've been listed for a long time, but they finally went out at 37 49 which I think is probably most of the money back that I spent out on them. Probably made my money back, but there's no profit in this because these were my own shoes, and I paid more than that in the first place. Still, it is a sale. It is a sale in my 20 over 20. This is a baby wrap. This is the Elville Norwegian baby wrap, Gaia Linus blueprint stripe, and I got this in filler bag. So again, 20p, 30p at the most. I picked up at the time I picked up I was like that's a baby wrap people that you know when people do that thing they call baby wearing when they carry their babies everywhere and I know that wraps are expensive so I came home researched it listed it at 49.99 it went out on a best offer at 35 35 was low for me to accept a best offer on it however I think it was a day when I'd had no sales at all and I was just glad of a sale so 35 quid from about 20p something else that has been in stock for a long time these three piece born to shop tea sugar and coffee canisters had them for ages and ages and ages i had to dust them before i could post them but they finally went and they've gone for 24.99 i bought them in a charity shop i think but i'm not 100 percent sure i had them for so long i mean they've been listed well over a year but i've had them longer than that i think i think they were in my bags of shame waiting to be listed for a long time so yeah i've i can't be sure what i paid for them but i know it wouldn't be much I know I wouldn't have paid a lot. Probably not more than a fiver for the three. And they've gone out of 24 99 plus post. They did arrive safely and I got glowing feedback from my packaging on that one. Phew. These have gone to one of you guys. These have gone out to uh, to Lynn Robinson. Thank you so much. I, I'm always pleased when one of you buys for me. It's such a nice thing for you guys to do. And these are anthropology mugs. And she said they had to replace them that she had and broke. So that was really nice as well. 24 99 Plus post, I can't remember where they came from, but I think they were car boot sale. They may have been charity shop. I'm not sure. And I know I wouldn't have paid much because I don't, because I'm mean. <laughs> these Kath Kidston uh, pumps, flat shoes, these came from Steve at the car boot sale. They were £3 off of Steve's main table. They weren't in filler bag. They were £3 off his main table. And they sold quite quickly, £24.99 plus postage. They were a small size. I was a bit unsure about where they would go because they're only a size 4. But yeah, they went out twenty four ninety nine plus post. And another thing that went out at twenty four ninety nine plus post is this Kath Kiss and Biscuit tin. And this came from the car boot sale. I may have paid a pound for this. I definitely wouldn't have paid more than a pound. It was not in the best of condition, as you can see that you know it's a bit old and worn. But it was, I you know fully disclosed the condition of it before the before the buyer bought it, and uh, was very pleased to get twenty four ninety nine for it. To be honest, very pleased indeed. We're coming to the end. This is a Mia Tui. I'm never quite sure if I'm pronouncing that correct. Mia Tui. Mia Tui. Rebecca shoulder bag. Uh, I bought this in the Bernardo's charity shop in Patchway. I only popped in very quickly one day. I was on my way to meet Josh, I think, for lunch. Yes, I was on my way to meet Josh for lunch and I popped in there very quickly. I went to do a parcel and you can't go past a charity shop. This was, I want to say £3.99. Might have been £4.99, but I want to say £3.99. And it sold again really, really quickly for £22.99 plus postage. And then last but by no means least, a vintage Burton Group purple and black cardigan. This is such an 80s piece, 80s or 90s at the best. It was kind of mohair wool mix. It was itchy. It was big. It was it was just so, yeah, just so, I would say early 90s. And it was listed for almost a year. Well, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. Seven months. Seven months it was listed and it finally, finally sold. Um, in February just just when the weather was cold enough for somebody to enjoy it I guess I did accept an offer on this of £20 plus post and I think it came from the car boot sale 
I think it came from the car boot cell. Although I don't often buy clothes at the car boot, so it may have come in the sacks. But I don't know. No, I feel, I feel like it was a car boot purchase. I don't think it was a charity shop. Not 100% sure. But I do know that, as I've said over and over again, ad infinitum through this video, I am tight. I will not have paid much for it. A couple of quid at best. That's it. That's everything. Thank you for joining me for this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. As I said, I hope maybe give you some ideas of stuff that you might be able to sell for a profit yourself. Uh, maybe you're looking. Like, I've got one of them in the wardrobe. One of these. One of these purple and black cardigans in the wardrobe. Maybe. Who knows? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.